Hello everyone, what is Ethernet? This is what we are gonna talk about today. Ethernet is the traditional technology for connecting devices in a wired local area network. Ethernet, technically known as IEEE 802.3, is actually a communication technology that is used to connect devices in schools, offices, and hospitals. At the most basic level, Ethernet defines rules or protocols that devices use to communicate over the network. Unlike Wi-Fi, which is a wireless technology, Ethernet requires physical cables to be connected over which the data travels. Ethernet was invented almost 50 years ago in 1973 at Xerox Corporation. It is still used widely around the world due to its high speed, security and reliability. It has an ability to keep pace with evolving network needs. First, Ethernet was only capable of 10 megabits per second data transfer speeds. Most modern Ethernet connections can reach up to 400 gigabits per second. Compared to wireless LAN technology, Ethernet is typically less vulnerable to disruptions. It can also offer a greater degree of network security and control than wireless technology because devices get connected using physical cable. This is what makes it difficult for hackers to access network data. Let's go into a little more detail. Ethernet facilitates physical layer and data link layer of OSI model. Physical layer establishes, maintains, and deactivates physical connection. Its primary function is transmitting the individual bits from one device to another. Data link layer is responsible for error-free transfer of data. Basically, it has two sub-layers, logical, link control, and MAC layer. LLC sets up routes for data on the Ethernet to transfer between devices. MAC layer uses hardware addresses that are assigned to network interface card, which uniquely identify each device that resides on the local area network. Ethernet works pretty simple. When a device on the Ethernet network wants to send data to another device, it uses a standard technology, what's called CSMACD carrier sends multiple access with collision detection. It is used to reduce data collision and increase successful data transmission. Ok, so before transmitting data, CSMACD checks if there is any traffic on the network. If it finds no traffic, then it sends out the first bit of data to see if a collision happens. If first bit goes successful, then it sends out the other bits while still checking for collision. If a collision occurs, then it waits for a short period of time and starts the process all over again until the full transmission is completed. For more information on OSI model and CSMACD, click on the link below in description. Ok, now let's talk about the types of Ethernet cables. Coaxial cable has an inner conductor in the middle of cable which is used for the transmission of signals conductor is enclosed by an insulator which is then surrounded by foil shield and then metallic shield to protect from electromagnetic interference. Finally outer jacket that is used to protect internal layers from damage. This type of cabling comes in two types thin net and thick net both types have maximum transmission speeds of 10 megabits per second. Twisted pair cable it has four pairs of wires. These wires are twisted around each other to reduce crosstalk and outside interferences. It provides up to 1 gigabits per second transmission speeds. This type of cabling is common in current local area networks. Twisted pair cabling can be used for telephone and network cabling. It comes in two versions, unshielded twisted pair and shielded twisted pair. The difference between two is STP has an additional layer of insulation that protects data from outside interference. Fiber optic cable. It uses optical fibers to transmit data in the form of light signals. This cable has strands of glass surrounded by a covering material. This type of cabling can support longer distances than any other cabling. This cable is also resistant to electromagnetic interference and this cabling methods has many benefits over other methods but it is much more expensive there are two types of fiber optic cables single mode fiber 
this uses only a single ray of light to carry data and is used for longer distances multi mode fiber this uses multiple rays of light to carry data and it is less expensive than single mode fiber all right now let's get into the types of ethernet fast ethernet as the term suggests this is quite a high speed internet and can transmit or receive data at about 100 megabits per second this type of network is usually supported by twisted pair or cat5 cable gigabit ethernet this type of network transfers data at even higher speed of about 1 gigabits per second gigabit speed is an upgrade from fast ethernet which is slowly being phased out in this type of network all the four pairs in the twisted pair cable contribute to the data transfer speed 10 gigabit ethernet this is even more advanced and high speed network type with data transfer speeds of 10 gigabits per second it is supported by cat 6a or cat 7 twisted pair cables as well as fiber optic cables switch ethernet this network type requires a switch or hub instead of twisted pair cables it uses normal network cables network switches are used to transfer data from one device to another without interrupting any other device in the network okay so before we end this video let me tell you some important points that are worth mentioning different types of network topologies are used in ethernet such as star ring bus and more star topology is more useful as compared to other topologies because it has less collisions early ethernet networks were half duplex because they were using hubs where data could travel only in one direction modern ethernet networks are full duplex because they use switches where data travels in both directions you can find an ethernet port behind the back or on the side of your device where you plug in one end of the cable and connect the other end to the router all right so this was all about ethernet if you like my videos please subscribe